It's Tuesday, June 16th, 2020. We are watching an epic melt up here with these markets. Dow Jones up another 526 points today. Epic. The 1% are going to melt these markets all the way up. Many of the wealthiest people now are not even in these markets. And the ones that are, you can bet, will get out in time, while the average gambler investor pays a severe price. You know, it's going to be the 1% that run this thing all the way up, melt this thing all the way up until this thing melts down. And it's going to be the 99% that are going to pay the price with this Ponzi scheme market that we're witnessing take place, this historic melt up. I mean, this thing is so fake. If you, if you believe that these markets are real, you believe in the tooth fairy. That's just a fact. But again, it's gonna be the 1% that run this thing all the way up and jump out with a parachute while 99%, the 99% are gonna pay the price for this giant Ponzi scheme we are watching play out right before our very eyes. Dow Jones up 526 points today. I'm gonna to go over some articles today and just some titles. And there's a huge contradiction with the stock market and what's happening in the real economy. I truly believe that the US economy is now officially in a depression. And I want to know what you think. Is the US economy recovering? Is the US economy doing all right? Or do you see it the same way I see it? Do you see the US economy in a depression right now? I want to know what you think. Please comment down below. We would all like to know what's happening in your part of the country, your part of the world. Are things booming? Are things just flat? Or do you see a depression taking place? Uh, about a mile from my house, uh, I was driving uh, by a tire place yesterday, and what do you know? The building is for sale. The, the tire business is gone, probably employed about 15, 20 people. Pretty good size uh, tire place. Closed, gone, out of business. Now another vacant building is for sale out here in Riverside county. Uh, but the stock market is heading to all-time highs. Massive, uh, uh, just a massive day again today, 526 points. Yet another business folds, another building for sale. Uh, but let's go over some of these articles. This one is titled, The U.S. Has Already Lost More Than 100,000 Oil and Gas Jobs. Here's another one, U.S. Industrial Production disappoints, shows no sign of V-shaped rebound. Another one, U.S. restaurant traffic suddenly craters amid second wave fears. Bloomberg, U.S. slumps to 10th spot in world competitiveness rankings. CNBC, 30% of Americans missed their housing payment in June. That's on CNBC today. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, this, is, this one's critical right here. 30% of Americans miss their housing payment in June. Yet we see the stock market surging. It's going to all-time highs. It's going to exceed all-time highs. Uh, no telling where this thing is going to go. But the higher the stock market goes, the worse the economy is getting. So... Is the stock market really helping you as the economy crumbles? Is your bank account getting bigger? Are you making more money? Are your wages going, going up? Is your net worth going up? Is your standard of living going up or down? Let us know, comment down below. Are things getting better for you and your family? Are they, are they stable or are they getting worse? Um, I can tell you, uh, just family members, friends, it's it's not getting better. Some some people it's stable uh, that I know, uh, but but again I have family members and friends who have lost jobs. Um, 
And I know people who are getting very worried now uh, because they don't know if they're going to have a job to return to. And they're falling behind on the credit cards, the mortgage, the car payments, you name it. And we are really at a critical time here in America. And I don't really think we're going to see the fallout uh, of all this until the beginning or, or somewhere around fall heading into winter. Look, the $600 bonuses are going to run out. The forbearances will expire. At some point, people are going to have to start paying their bills. We have 40 million people out of work right now today. And when I see the stock market just melting up like it is, this is really, I mean, this is very scary. I mean, this thing is so fake. It is so propped up by the Fed and the economy, the economy is not fake. We're seeing people really getting hurt here. 30% of Americans missed their housing payment in June. This is historic, historic. I read a really good article today by Sven Henrich. And I made some notes and, and wrote down some of the highlights of this article. And Sven points out why we are in a depression and how we got into this depression. The culprit being the Fed. And I want to go through this article with you. He says right here, they can't and won't tolerate any market downside. So scared they are losing control of the asset bubble they have created. They must be very scared of these markets. They have to intervene at every downturn. Isn't that the truth? As soon as these markets just go over the slightest speed bump, the Fed is right there buying and pumping money uh, into these markets. They cannot let these markets get out of control. We just saw the markets a few days ago down 1,860 points. And the Fed comes in and these markets roar right back. The lengths and depths of their interventions indirectly into equity markets by directly buying high yield and now corporate bonds is a perversion of the financial system. The system's fake. It's now a complete illusion created and played out by the Federal Reserve. People told us about the V-shaped recovery. These were the same people who predicted earnings and economic growth over the past three years, growth that never materialized. The facts, here's the facts. Unemployment will remain very high for years to come. And this is why the Fed is going to keep rates at zero until 2022. More than likely, we will see negative rates way before 2022. Here's the reality. The economy has not been able to produce above trend GDP growth in many years. It couldn't do so with 10 years of easy money. It couldn't do so with a $1.5 trillion tax cut. It couldn't do so with three rate cuts in 2019 and a $400 billion, $400 plus billion balance sheet expansion. And it's not going to do so now with $7 trillion of intervention. Is it working? Is your life getting better? Is your standard of living getting better? Is your paycheck getting bigger? Is your savings account getting bigger? Uh, I see a majority now, a majority of people in America really getting nervous, really beginning to feel the pain. And this country is going to see a day of reckoning. This country is going to go through severe pain. And this is why it is so imperative that everyone watching this video continues to pre prepare with food, with water, with security, with gold, with silver, with walking close to God, all this. We are now in a structural depression. All growth is financed by debt, all of it. We are creating so much debt now in America to keep this Ponzi scheme going. You, your kids, your grandkids, and your great grandkids are going to feel the, the repercussions from this debt bomb going off. There's no doubt about it. The market and economy has been pumped with artificial stimulus and liquidity to the hilt. And what has it produced? It's produced 40 million jobless in America, $26 trillion of debt. 
and we're going to see $30 trillion of debt within a year. That's what it's produced. It's produced a lot of unemployment and a lot of debt. And the consequences coming to America, ladies and gentlemen, you better be preparing. We're in a depression. It, you can ask, why are we in a depression? Because an economy that requires $7 trillion in intervention is a depression, period. Spend Sven says right here, stop fooling yourself. An economy that can't grow with a $1.5 trillion tax cut, rates at zero, and nonstop interventions is a depression. The Fed has created a full-on gambling casino, and the gamblers have moved in and are pulling the buy triggers nonstop. These are the going to be the people taken by surprise. These are going to be the people swept out to sea. These will be the economic casualties, the victims, the statistics. You do not want to be one of these people. The Fed isn't saving the economy. It is zombifying it. And in the process of inserting itself deeper into these markets, the Fed itself is becoming too big to fail. Ladies and gentlemen, when the Fed loses control of this asset bubble, the asset bubble that it created, the consequences are going to go down in the history books. There are, there, there are a majority of people watching these markets today, clapping, jumping up and down, celebrating. Many of them not even in these markets. They just believe the, the economy is good because the markets are up because the Dow Jones is up 526 points. These people have no idea what is coming. They have no idea how they've been bamboozled, how they've been hoodwinked. This, these are the same people with massive credit card debt, the same people sitting at home uh, getting an unemployment check, a $600 bonus and a stimulus check, dependent on the government now to take care of them. These are the same people that believe everything is okay. Do not be one of the sheep. When I see what is taking place, like I saw today, what I've been seeing take place in these markets, I'm not jump, jumping up and down. I'm not celebrating. I'm, I'm getting very worried, very worried. We have never been in a place like this in the history of America. The world's never been in a place like this. So much criminality, the illusions, the Ponzi schemes, the television telling you, you should be gambling. You, you need to come to the poker table. You need to come to the slot machine. You need to pull the handle. You need to be investing in the Ponzi scheme. Ponzi schemes never end well, ladies and gentlemen. With what we are watching take place in these markets, we shouldn't be jumping up and down, celebrating. We shouldn't be believing the hype that everything's going to be okay because the stock market's doing well. The economy is crumbling, the economy is failing, the debts and deficits are exploding, states, municipalities are going bankrupt, the US as a country is bankrupt. We are the biggest debtor nation on the planet. We are bankrupt. Yet people believe this hype that everything is going great because the Dow Jones is up 526 points today. I'll tell you, people really have been dumbed down. People are really being taken for a ride here. The day of reckoning is coming to America. There's going to be an extreme price that is going to be paid by Americans, by millions and millions of Americans. Remember that 1% who ran all this up, they're going to be long gone. And it's going to be you, America. It's going to be the average American who has a pension invested, a money market invested in these markets. It's going to be the 99% who are going to pay the deepest, most severe, horrific price. They're going to get wiped out. Futures will be wiped out. Wealth is going to be wiped out. It's going to be an ugly time, ladies and gentlemen. And when I see what's happening today, it not just shocks me, it scares me to death because this thing should have crashed a long time ago. And the farther along this goes, the harder the crash is going to be. And this is going to be one that does go down in the history books. 
You and I are never ever going to experience what we're about to experience here in America. This is going to go down in history.